We're about to tell you a really great local story, and it involves the M3 militia group that formed here a, a, a little bit more than a month ago. In addition, working with the Salvation Army and area law enforcement. Corey Clark is here, and Allegheny County Covington Sheriff Kevin Hall join us today to tell all of you about a neat food drive that is has been started to help area older people, senior citizens, and those with low incomes. Welcome, guys. Nice to be here. Afternoon, Jerry. And and Corey, I think this was your baby and, and your group's idea. How did this all come about? Uh, all the guys came together to basically, you know, form the militia, and then everybody perceived it as something bad, and we're not for anything bad or wanting to help the community. I don't know if anybody listened to the uh, information on the radio, but basically we consider it community service without a jail sentence. I mean, if I need to paint a curb or help somebody out, that I will go to my end of my resources in order to make sure somebody's taken care of. And I threw that through the board of seven of us through M3, and we were like, well, maybe we need to, you know, do like, a food drive and then this COVID-19 thing just kind of kicked off and that was like a, the ideal scenario and then I contacted Big Dog here and we got names Chris Fisher he knows everybody and gave us a list and we started that with Friday with like 25 and that was an iron gate it took us two hours to do it you you what you're talking about is you got food donations mm -hmm. and your group along with some uh, area law enforcement yeah. officers actually delivered those and since that time there's been several hundred others oh as we yeah, understand. Man, it's a, this is this egg is hatched real quick <laughs> and it's been a shock to me it's been a shock to you know in everybody the communities you know it's hard it it's weird living here and then knowing that these people actually exist out here not having what they need and it's real it's a real blessing to us as a community to be able to reach out and help when we can and I mean it's amazing. Well this is a cooperative effort as we mentioned your group and I don't know why you think the image was initially bad there may have been a few people that thought that way but I was there when you had that announcement uh, at the mall and I saw very little that was negative at all and everything I heard was very positive positive. and then you got together with law enforcement and the Salvation Army. So this is a cooperative group, which since last Thursday, this is amazing, it's just been since last Thursday, that a couple hundred meals already have been delivered. And Sheriff, I think you mentioned that in addition to your officers, uh, Coochies and other organizations have chipped in, right? Right. Uh, yeah, cool. when Corey contacted me about it, we've developed a relationship since the militia thing had started. And, these guys, that every, all the dealings I've ever had with them, that everything's been on board. They've been up front. They keep us in, in contact with us, letting us know what's going on. And when he called me up and threw out this idea that he had 25 meals that, that could be delivered, hey, do you know 25 people? So I knew that we had our crime prevention program, at, that Chris Fisher had a, a, a influx of names so the first night it was i think he gave 20 names and i i knew five more right off the top of our heads and then when it went on facebook and these guys started delivering it no it's exploded it's exploded so much that we thought hey uh the salvation army and, and the mayor of covington uh tommy seibel sits on this with us and we had a meeting there yesterday with the salvation army is hey you know let's all get together which we did yesterday and let's formulate how we can do this and these guys here can really do logistics and it's grown from 25 to 100 and some 130 or so 210, to 210, tonight. 210 meals tonight and so uh we're working with them to try to vet these people and you know you saw the press release and the and the uh thing so it's just a great it's a great thing for people here we have many more details on AlleghenyJournal.com about this. And Corey, you've done one more thing. In addition to donations from people all around the place, you've established a GoFundMe page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did the GoFundMe basically because it's going to take some money to get this thing going. Apart from St. Car Enterprises, Lucas Pizza, Coochie's Pizza, uh, let's see, uh, Pastor Wolf down the street here has gave us 30 meals every day since Friday. Wow. Right. 
and <laughs> it's more. I've got the Hardys and Covingtons wanting to do some. I mean, everybody, Rollers. everybody's wanting to pitch in and help. Rollers and Iron yeah, Gate. And I forgot to mention, like Friday morning, Corey and I and Pastor Shorty Wolf from Love and Life Ministry here met Friday, and then that's when he got involved and was like, "Hey, what can we do?" And this thing's really just. It's just exploded. This community always comes together in a time of need. This is, as I told you, we the details are numerous, and most of those are on AlleghenyJournal.com. But this concept, which started last Thursday, is exploding, and so many people are making contributions to it because of the organization of these guys. And you might misunderstand that there is so much need in the Allegheny Highlands for it. And funding, of course, is always an issue. And Corey, your uh, GoFundMe page will list that at the end of this video. And maybe you'll see it in your heart to join these people in this really cool community effort. And we certainly thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry. Glad to help. And thank his board, uh, the other six guys I know that are on that board. They, they do a tremendous job. And, it's just glad to be a partner with these guys and you know just let people know that hey these guys are out here to do do good you know they're not that's that's their goal thanks yep thank you